In John 14 verse 27, Jesus speaks profound words of comfort and assurance to his disciples, saying, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives, give I to you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. These words, spoken during the Last Supper, offer a glimpse into the depth of Christ's love and the divine peace he grants to those who follow him. This Bible study will explore the context, meaning, and application of this verse, revealing the transformative power of Christ's peace in the lives of believers. Context of John 14 verse 27 John 14 verse 27 is part of Jesus' farewell discourse, a series of teachings and promises he shared with his disciples on the night before his crucifixion. This discourse spans from John 13 to John 17 and is filled with Jesus' deep concern for his followers, knowing that his imminent departure would bring confusion and sorrow. In these chapters, Jesus prepares his disciples for the coming trials, offering them hope and guidance. The Promise of the Holy Spirit In the preceding verses, Jesus promises the coming of the Holy Spirit, who will teach and remind the disciples of all he has said. The Holy Spirit's role as the Comforter is crucial to understanding the peace Jesus gives. This peace is not merely a temporary relief from distress but an enduring presence of God's tranquility and assurance, sustained by the Holy Spirit. Analysis of John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you. The word peace in this context is translated from the Greek word irene, which implies more than the absence of conflict. It encompasses a sense of wholeness, well-being, and inner rest. By stating peace I leave with you, Jesus signifies that he is bestowing upon his disciples a lasting legacy. This peace is a gift that will remain with them, providing stability amidst chaos and comfort in times of trouble. My peace I give to you. Jesus further distinguishes the peace he offers by calling it my peace. This peace is rooted in his divine nature and his perfect relationship with the Father. Unlike the transient peace the world offers, often dependent on external circumstances, Christ's peace is unchanging and eternal. It is a peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding the hearts and minds of believers. Philippians 4 verse 7 Not as the world gives, give I to you. The peace of Christ contrasts sharply with the peace the world provides. Worldly peace is often conditional and temporary, based on favorable situations or human agreements. In contrast, the peace Jesus gives is unconditional and perpetual, grounded in his sacrificial love and the assurance of his presence. This divine peace does not waver with changing circumstances but remains steadfast. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. Jesus concludes with a command and encouragement. Knowing that his disciples would face trials, persecution, and uncertainty, Jesus urges them to trust in the peace he provides. This peace empowers believers to face challenges without succumbing to fear or anxiety, anchored in the confidence of Christ's promises. Experiencing Christ's Peace Believers today can experience the peace of Christ by cultivating a deep, personal relationship with Him through prayer, meditation on Scripture, and reliance on the Holy Spirit. This peace is not a passive state but an active reliance on God's presence and promises. In moments of stress or uncertainty, turning to Christ and recalling His words can restore peace to our hearts. Peace in the Midst of Trials Life is filled with trials and tribulations, but the peace of Christ enables believers to navigate these difficulties with calm assurance. When faced with personal loss, health challenges, or relational conflicts, believers can find solace in the fact that Jesus' peace is not dependent on external circumstances. This peace allows us to remain steady and hopeful, 
trusting that God is in control. Spreading Christ's Peace As recipients of Christ's peace, believers are called to be peacemakers in the world. This involves fostering reconciliation, promoting understanding, and extending grace to others. By embodying the peace of Christ in our interactions, we can be a source of comfort and encouragement to those around us, reflecting God's love and tranquility. Overcoming Fear with Faith Fear is a common human experience, but Jesus' command to neither let it be fearful challenges us to respond with faith. By trusting in God's sovereignty and goodness, we can overcome fear and anxiety. This does not mean the absence of fear, but rather a conscious choice to rely on God's peace and strength in the face of fear. John 14 verse 27 is a powerful reminder of the peace that Jesus offers to all who follow him. This peace is a divine gift, distinct from the fleeting peace of the world, and is rooted in Christ's eternal presence and love. As believers, we are called to embrace this peace, allowing it to guard our hearts and guide our actions. Although the world is filled with turmoil and uncertainty, the peace of Christ stands as a beacon of hope and assurance, inviting us to rest in His unchanging promises. Amen. Thank you for joining us. If you found this study helpful, Please like and subscribe to our channel for more Bible studies and reflections.